What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over a bunch of cards that you can buy right now. They're way down in price and I think they will not only upgrade your squad, but they're also gonna help you guys win more games. And we'll be looking for some good budget options. Most of the cards we talk about in this video should be under 400,000 coins with a few exceptions. And as always, we're gonna start at the quarterback position and we got Ring of Honor Michael Vick. This is still my favorite quarterback in the game i know a lot of you don't like to use left-handed quarterbacks but if you don't mind it i think with that ring of honor token he gets the best ability stack that a quarterback can have in mutt 24 right now he's on average about 325,000 coins and again with that ring of honor token you can get the trust combine x factor which will turn on nine plays into the game and then it stays on for the entire game that means he's rarely going to fumble when you scramble with him and obviously he has 99 speed here so he's a great scrambling quarterback back also 99 throw power short throw 95 mid throw 94 deep 99 throw under pressure play action a little bit low but still fine on this guard and throw on the run is going to be a 99 so he gets that trust x factor he has evasive baked on so when you're running with him with trust lit up he's going to be able to make a lot of people miss with those juke moves he gets master tactician pass lead elite and gunslinger all for three ap that's literally four abilities and the best x factor in the game for a running quarterback all for three ap now, if you don't use the Ring of Honor token on this card, you can still go Set Feet Lead, Master Tactician, and Evasive, and that's only going to cost you a total of 2 AP. He does have that traditional 4 release, which allows you to not need Gunslinger. The only reason I use it with the Ring of Honor token is because it's there, it's available, it's a 0 AP ability in a bucket where there's not really any other good choices. If you don't like lefties, I still think that Lamar Jackson's AKA card is the best quarterback in the game, and that new Johnny Manziel, I've heard a lot of good things about it i'll probably try it out very soon but i think andrew luck is a good option as well now he is about 600k so he's a little bit pricey compared to the budget we like to keep in these videos but it's also the quarterback and this is where you want to spend your coins if you need to luck is a very very good quarterback 95 speed 99 throw power short throw mid throw deep throw is going to be 99 and then 98 98 uh, throw under pressure, throw on the run, play action, all very good. I think the best thing about this card, I would still personally say Vic and Lamar are better cards because you can scramble with them and they can both get Truz, whether it's an ability or an X Factor. Andrew Luck saves you a ton of ability points because he has the traditional four release. You can go set feet lead and master tactician, and that's going to cost you a total of one AP because set feet lead is baked on. And if you don't need master tactician, you don't really care about hot route master, your offense doesn't run through it. You can literally just throw set feet lead on this card and not spend a single AP. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you got a couple other options. You can go set feet lead, master tactician, and fearless, and that's going to cost you two AP. You can go set feet lead master tactician and gift wrap that'll be two ap if you want to go set feet lead master tactician fearless and gift wrap you're still only looking at three ap so there's a lot of flexibility with the abilities on this card and mainly because he gets that set feet lead baked in and he has traditional four release which means you do not need gunslinger on him at running back i want to talk about theme team all-star travis etn and this really is going to go for any of the theme team all-star cards right now based off the price of the quick sell cards from this promo and that's going to be 94 is at about 45 to 47k you can almost build from scratch any of these cards up to a 99 overall for about the equivalent of 450 to 500,000 coins, depending on if you can snipe and if you use any of the free theme team all-star coins that may you may have earned from house rules and the field pass and the solo challenges. All of them get angry runs for one AP. And right now, if you're not using a running back with angry runs, you're just you're setting yourself up at a disadvantage. So I think Travis Etienne is the best one here. I just wanted to show you a picture of the card that I have. I actually haven't used him yet, but attribute-wise, he looks like the best to me. Uh, the carry or the catching's low at 75 and the trucking is low at 89 but spin and juke moves are the most overpowered moves running moves skill position moves in the game right now so trucking to me is the least important when it comes to running backs and etn has a 99 juke move so i got angry runs on him with human joystick and evasive all for one ap 
And again, that's going to go for any of the running backs from that promo. Uh, you can go that route. If you're looking to kind of switch it up and go with a different guy, I think Eric Dickerson with the Ring of Honor token is still the best running back in the game. And we still have Combine Bo Jackson. I'm sorry, but this running back card, 98 speed, 99 acceleration, 96 change of direction, trucking 94, break tackle 97. He's got good spin and juke move. This card is literally 98,000 coins. Like, you just can't go wrong with this one. He gets angry runs, which the Combine version turns on nine plays into the game and then stays on for the remainder of the game you get that plus evasive and it costs you a total of zero ap for ninety-eight thousand coins you literally just cannot beat that i said it at the top of the video we really do like to focus on cards that are about 400k and under but i think this ultimate legend megatron is an exception this is an end game card look at the attributes here six foot five 99 speed jumping catch and traffic spec catch short route running deep route running mid route running and regular catch are going to be 98 it's not going to get much better than this this plus the fact that he gets three really good zero ap abilities and he's about 500k on average you get red zone threat baked in for zero you get deep elite which is good for taller receivers down the field and also jukebox which honestly is the best ability right now that you can put on a wide receiver getting those three for zero ap with these attributes and and his height for 500k this is a card you can buy it right now like i said i don't think it's going to get much better than this it literally cannot so you buy this card you're good to go at at least one of your wide receiver positions for the remainder of the mutt 24 year randy moss for 220k is an absolute steal if you're on a budget six foot four 99 speed 97 catch 98 catch in traffic 99 spec catch his route running is good enough 94 short 95 mid 99 deep and he's going to give you jukebox and and wide receiver apprentice together for zero ap if you don't happen to need wide receiver apprentice you can go jukebox and route technician for a total of one ap or you can literally just go jukebox and he's good enough as is same thing as we talked about with the running backs you can do with wide receivers from the theme team all-star promo here is my Devonte smith these cards because they get two zero ap abilities you can pretty much go with jukebox and route technician on all of them i believe for zero ap and i actually do think romeo dobbs and and Mike Williams are better than Devontae Smith and the price is still going to be about the same as it was with the running backs between about 450 and 500k Dobbs six foot two Mike Williams six foot four they're all attribute wise pretty similar and ability wise similar and they do get aka x factors one that I would really recommend if you have space for it is yak them up they basically guaranteed to break the first tackle after the catch you match that up with jukebox which is going to naturally make people miss you can turn a lot of five yard and 10 yard throws into 20 30 40 50 yard touchdowns if you're good enough with the joystick and get a good broken tackle with nobody else on the field in front of you at tight end we got a good rental option for you here it's going to be infinite flux donald parham six foot eight tight end he actually has 98 speed with 83 run block pretty good there all of the other attributes are perfect 99 catch 98 spec catch short route running 99 mid 98 pretty solid abilities you don't have to spend any ap he's going to give you a short and elite which is pretty good for tight ends you get that at zero and you also get matchup nightmare at zero you can get both of those together and in the long run he's only going to cost you about 150,000 coins so if you're unfamiliar with ltds and the rental method uh, this card you can buy right now for about 500k but all ltds quick sell for 350,000 coins so if this card absolutely tanked to the ground because of a market crash you know at bare minimum out of the 500 you're going to spend on this one you're getting 350 back so again if you do the math there and i'm really good at math that's about 150,000 coin rental if you go ahead and pick this card up for 500k and obviously if you can get them cheaper than that well then it's going to be a cheaper rental rate for you let's talk about some cards on defense we got two defensive ends that are really really inexpensive the first one is going to be aka cam jordan he is giving you 94 speed 95 acceleration 98 strength i talk about this a lot in other videos always look for strength on the offensive and defensive line if you can get it at 98 and 99 these pass rushers are going to be very good for that reason he also has 99 block shed 98 power move the finesse move is a bit low at 84 obviously uh, but he goes through about 220k and because he's an aka card he's going to get unstoppable force as an x factor you can see it's baked onto the card right there zero ap it will start on for six plays it goes away for a few plays then it comes back for six plays and it repeats that cycle throughout the entire game so you got that and then you can choose between edge threat elite or 
Double or Nothing for 1 AP. I personally recommend Double or Nothing, but Edge Threat Elite has a baked in unstoppable, excuse me, a baked in under pressure along with Edge Threat. So it's kind of like two abilities in one. But like I said, I, I prefer Double or Nothing. Uh, but really good price on that card. Same thing with this Roman Reigns from the Real Deals promo. All of these 98 overall Real Deals cards are at the bare minimum, which I believe is 205,000 coins. And there's still some really good cards out there that can get three abilities. A lot of times it's going to cost you one AP for them, but with their real deals, upgrade tokens or showtime tokens, uh, which they can all be earned for free. All you have to do is knock out the objectives for each individual player, and those are going to be found in the real deals field pass. With the tokens on Roman Reigns, I mean, he's got pretty good attributes, a little bit slow at 93 speed. I know we just showed Cam Jordan at 94, but we're starting to see some guys that are faster than both of these guys. Uh, but for 205k, that's what you're going to get, right? 96 block shed, 98 power move, 91 finesse move, strength at 94. Um, he's going to get unstoppable force, but with him... He gets it like three or four plays into the game, and then it stays on for the rest of the game. He's been one of the better pass rushers I've used all year, and with him, he can also get double or nothing for one AP. So good setup for a really, really low budget price there. At linebacker, and we're mostly going to focus on users or guys who can play pass coverage, I, I had no idea this Derek Brooks card is so inexpensive. He's down to 350 k This is without a doubt been one of my favorite cards in the last month, maybe one of my favorite cards uh, the entire year because he's going to be in right outside linebacker. Uh, so you're not going to see all of his great attributes on here, but 97 speed, 99 block shed. I think he has 99 hit power as well. Uh, 92 finesse move. He's good when the AI controls him against the run, but more importantly against the pass and as a user, He's going to give you Lurk Artist for 0 AP, Secure Tackler for 0 AP, and Mid Zone KO all together for 0 AP. Three of the best abilities in the game on defense right now for a total of 0 AP. He also has, I think, 99 zone coverage and 97 man coverage, so he can cover either way. And, and for 350k, like I said, I was a little bit shocked to see that this card was so inexpensive. Almost a must-have in my opinion. If that's out of your budget, or if you just want to have a little fun, I encourage you to check out the Steam Team All-Star Jordan Mailata, this card is, is crazy. Six foot eight. He is 365 pounds. He moves well for me. I've seen some people say he's too big. He's not going to move fast enough. I had no problems with him. He gives you 98 speed, 92 acceleration, 99 strength. The tackle's a little bit low, but I don't think it's a big concern. 99 block shed, 99 hit power, 99 zone. And he's going to give you the combination of avalanche, mid zone KO, and lurk artist all together for zero AP. 170k, super inexpensive, and if you're looking to shake things up and have a little bit of fun, this is the card for you. One more linebacker you can go with for coverage and as a user is going to be Jack Campbell, six foot five weekly wild card, 96 speed, 96 acceleration, 98 tackle, 99 block shed, 98 hit power, 98 zone. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, he had like 92 or 93 man coverage as well. This is a really fun user to have, 325k. He's going to give you that combination of mid zone KO and lurk artist together for zero ap i would say he moves a little bit stiffer than like the Derek brooks card that we talked about earlier but if you're looking to get two users or two guys as your sub linebackers that are natural linebackers i think jack campbell and Derek brooks is a really really good combination and you're looking at like six to seven hundred k when you got these golden tickets out here which obviously are going to be a little bit better uh that are costing well over a million coins you can get two guys that do the same thing there for the the less of coin we'll finish it off with some cornerbacks and the first one up is going to be infinite flux darius slay there's a number of ways that you can use this card let's go over the attributes first here six foot even 99 speed 98 acceleration 97 agility jumping play rack man coverage the zone is at 99 and his press coverage is at 95 so 422k a little bit over our budget but if you take a look a lot of these 99 overall infinite flux cards are getting cheaper due to you know the theme team all-star promo that came out a couple days ago and even the the ultimate legends that came out today and there's four different ability combinations you could go with that will all cost you zero ap so this is how i used him as a slot defender in a heavy heavy man coverage scheme i went with short route ko and pick artist he got a lot of knockouts for me on quick slants where he was beat off of the line but because of that knockout ability and in, in, inside 10 yards uh, he got a lot of knockouts so short route ko and pick artist for zero you can go deep out zone ko and mid zone
zone KO together for zero AP. That would be ideal if you're going to play him on the outside in a zone scheme. You can go deep out zone, zone deep out zone KO and pick artists together. Uh, that's also good for a zone scheme. I personally think that your cornerbacks and secondary in general need pick artists because if you don't have it, in my experience, they either just don't go after the interception or they drop it completely. So I don't like playing without pick artists, but I know some of you guys can get by without it. So deep out zone KO and pick artists together, zero AP. And then finally, you can go mid zone KO and pick artists together for zero AP. I think that would be another great way to use him as a slot defender. Four different options based on your play style. You pick one. And another great slot defender is going to be Chris Harris Jr. from the AKA promo. Only 220,000 coins, five foot ten, a little bit on the short side, 98 speed, 99 zone, 98 man coverage. He also will give you a combination of four different ability setups, and you actually can get three zero AP abilities with him, along with the fact that he gets universal coverage as an X factor. If you choose to activate it, it's going to start on for six plays, goes away, comes back, like we said with the cards earlier in the video. But the ability setups, and he's going to be best used as a slot defender. You can go secure tackler, deep route KO, and pick artist all for zero. That would be the one exception to play him on the outside. I wouldn't recommend it because of the five foot 10 height, though knockouts usually don't discriminate when it comes to height. Knockouts are going to knock out no matter how short the defender is. Uh, the other options are secure tackler, flat zone KO and pick artist for zero, secure tackler, mid zone KO and pick artist for zero, or secure tackler, mid zone KO, flat zone KO for zero. And again, he gets that universal coverage. That's going to give you a lot of knockouts as well if you choose to activate it. And the same thing goes with Aqib Tlaib. This is another card that came out the same day as Chris Harris Jr. This has been one of my favorite cornerbacks in the game so far this year. He's on my main team. He's on my No Money Spent squad. And he's only about 220,000 coins as well. Six foot one, 98 stock speed, 98 man, 97 zone, 99 press. This card will work in any type of scheme. He also gets universal coverage as an X factor. I have it activated on this card. He gets a lot of knockouts. And you can go either deep route KO and pick art is together plus secure tackler because it's baked on that's going to cost you one ap you can go deep zone ko secure tackler pick artist that would also cost you one ap then because of the universal coverage you know the deep out zone or the deep zone i should say in the mid zone ko's let me try that again the deep route ko's and the deep zone ko's they're only going to work 20 plus yards down the field but when that universal coverage is lit up it's usually going to get knockouts in the short areas and the medium areas as well or the mid areas uh, because of that ability so he can pretty much play anywhere and those are the cards right now that i think are worth taking a look at picking up to make your team better let me know what pickups you guys made this weekend down below in the comment section to make your team better thank you guys for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace